Hi, it's Etta, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd make a, hopefully a quick video about um, the scent and warmer of the month for August. And I also received my testers for the fall winter catalog of 2020. So I thought I'd kind of combine the two things and um, instead of making one video for each FE, I just kind of combined the two. And I also didn't want to sit here and open up everything and make a bunch of noise with the papers and the boxes and do all that. So I actually went ahead and opened everything up and I already put the warmer out. Um, not sure if you can see it. There it is, sitting on the bottom shelf right there. It's the Bless This Home um, warmer really really cute i think um, it's really nice it comes with a uh, clear 25 watt bulb but i decided i wanted to do green i thought it would look nice i wanted to try it out since we have color bulbs in 25 watts i thought why not i'll try the green one what do you think you like it with the green do you think maybe yellow red or clear i kind of like the green um i put my my mom made um this, the tree that's behind it, way in the back. Um, she made it for me for Christmas one year, years ago, and I still have it. And I thought, oh, like a tree, that would be really nice. I'm, I was actually thinking, um, you know, around Christmas time, they come out with all the different village pieces, right? And you can get like the little trees and the little people and things like that. And I thought, well, that'd be kind of nice to put in there with, um, the house around Christmas time, put some of those little green trees and some people, that kind of thing, and kind of go with the whole theme of, of the house. Um, what do you think? You think that would look pretty cool? I'm thinking about it. Um, anyways, uh, I think it looks really nice. It's a, like I said, it's a 25 watt warmer. And the scent of the month is called aloe vera and ivy it's very fresh smelling i actually already have it going in um my two warmers in the marrakesh and in the god is great warmer i put it in there earlier so that i could see what it smells like it smells really really good um let me tell you what the what sensi says about the scent it would help if i could find it Cool aloe vera entwined with climbing ivy and a splash of watery melon. And it's in the fresh category. I definitely, on cold sniff, pick up the melon. Yeah, I can definitely pick up that and the freshness. Um, when I started warming it, I'll, the best way that I can describe what I could smell was basically uh, it has that softness that the aloe water and cucumber has so think aloe water and cucumber take the cucumber out add a little bit of a melon scent so it was aloe water and cucumber minus the cucumber mixed with um oh my goodness Farmer's Market. I couldn't think of the name for a second. Farmer's Market. It has that green scent, that greenery. Um, and I think for me, I, it, to me, it smells more in the greenery section than in the melon section. I mean, smelling it on cold sniff, it's like, yeah, I smell the melon. But when I warmed it, to me, it smelled like a combination of that aloe water and cucumber without the cucumber and Farmer's Market. I like it. It smells really good. It says that the top notes are aloe vera, sparkling lemon, and uh, tangelo peel. I didn't smell the sparkling lemon. Mid notes are jade flower, watery melon, and blue myrtle cactus. Not really sure what blue myrtle cactus smells like, but I, again, I do smell like a melon scent. And then the base notes say white petals, climbing ivy, and bamboo wood. That'll be uh, nice to find out, like maybe tomorrow, that I might be able to pick up on those base notes more than um, I'm still picking up on that aloe and 
farmer's market kind of smell. So anyways, that is the August scent of the month and the warmer of the month. Now I thought we'd go over the um, new scents for the fall winter catalog. There's 10 new scents and I've always been, I've always thought myself to be more of a fall girl as opposed to a spring summer girl. And I'll have to say that after this last spring summer, I'm starting to wonder. I, I find myself really liking the fruities and the florals and whereas I've always thought that I was more uh, spice and woods and like in the manly sense and um, I'm really finding I like a lot of the the other scents too so I don't know that I would necessarily say that I'm a fall winter girl anymore um, but who knows maybe after this fall and winter these scents will push me right back over to fall winter again um, so let's see first one here says almond croissant. A fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Okay, almond croissant. Now, you probably have me at cinnamon sugar. I love cinnamon. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Mmm. Sweet, sweet. Mm. I'm definitely picking up the cinnamon sugar and I think I'm picking up that almond. I don't know that I pick up croissant. I, I would tend to think that I would smell that bread kind of smell, but again, a little mini tester sometimes is a little harder to tell. So and at least on, for me, I'm not picking up that, but it does smell amazing. <clears throat> the next one says apple and oats. Rich, buttery oats, caramelized apple, and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farmhouse kitchen. I'm definitely an apple girl. I love the apple scents. Um, last year, my favorite was the Jack's Obsession from the um, Halloween collection, basically. I absolutely love that one. I had it in my club and I don't know what happened. I, I think I mistakenly took it out and so now I'm, I'm, I really hoped that they were going to bring it back this fall and they didn't. So I'm really hoping they bring it back for some kind of little limited time offer or something so that I could put it back in my club because that's one that I would definitely put in there. So Apple and Oats. I smell cinnamon. Hints of cinnamon. I'm picking up cinnamon. An apple, an apple cinnamon. It smells really, really good. I don't know about oats. Caramelized apple. That makes you hungry. Yeah, cooking down an apple with cinnamon, sugar. Lots of cinnamon. And it's not the, um, it's not that red hot cinnamon. This is definitely that soft bakery cinnamon. Oh, wow, that does smell good. That really smells really good. Are you an apple person or are you more of like a pumpkin person? What do you like? I'm gonna save the next one for last because I, I tend to think it probably is going to be the most um, controversial. So the one after that says, Autumn Road Trip. Autumn Road Trip says, take a tour through Crisp Harvest Apple. Oh, another apple. Just picked Anjou Pear and a forest of towering silver oak. All right, so I like apple and I like pear. Let's see if I like silver oak. I'm not getting apple. Oh, I definitely smell more when I do that. Mm. 
Very nice, very nice. But I think, um, I think for my nose, the what's probably the silver oak is what's probably the most pronounced for me. It may be that once you warm it, the apple and the pear comes out, but obviously the combination, I'm, I'm sure it's not just silver oak that I'm smelling, but mm. it smells good. I like the other two more, but it smells good. Then we have Best in Snow. Frosted evergreen, cool mint, and a breath of pure icy air posed together in a prize-winning winter snapshot. I was surprised last year that I didn't think I would like the mint kind of scents. And I thought, well, let me, let me try one, you know, again, I, you never know. I mean, you might like it kind of thing. And I did. I liked it a lot. I was mixing minty scents in with a lot of things. I would, I remember I got from the Bring Back My Bar last year that Mad About Mint and I can't think of what the other one was called, but it was another mint scent. Um, and I would mix that with the um, one from the Frozen 2 collection, the North Calls. Those three together were amazing. They really were. I really liked that a lot. So did you get to try the Frozen collection? I'm hoping that one comes back too because um, I think they're releasing another movie later this year so fingers crossed that they'll release the Frozen collection again because North Calls needs to go into my Sensi Club because I forgot to put it in and by the time I remembered it was no longer available so I'm hoping. Ooh. Mint and evergreen, yeah. It's funny when you smell, at least me, when I smell some of these mints, you you tend to, I tend to think um, gum, you know, like gum that you chewed as a kid. Um, I say as a kid because I don't, I don't really chew gum anymore, but that's fresh. I can just imagine that in the winter time um, after Christmas and putting this in. I'm getting that pop of cool freshness in the air from that cool mint. That's nice. I like that. Next one. Breakfast in bed. I'm not a breakfast in bed kind of person. I don't know about you. The idea of crumbs in the bed and having to worry about bugs afterwards and um, I think my husband brought me breakfast in bed once in the 26 years that we've been married and yeah that was one of those things that yeah we don't we don't need to do that again it was you know you, you put the tray down and you, you're hoping that you don't spill everything everywhere you know I think he might have made me pancakes and so you don't want to get syrup in the bed and coffee of course I had to have coffee and you know so you're trying to move in the bed and the whole bed is doing this because you're trying to adjust yourself and um you know like i don't need to spill all this uh, it's, it's so much easier just to get up and go enjoy it downstairs in the kitchen um, but that's me but breakfast in bed says wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle now if i was going to eat in bed that does sound good what about you? Do you like to do breakfast in bed? Are you the type that likes to have breakfast in bed? Or are you, do you even eat breakfast? Um, there's a lot of people who don't even eat breakfast. So I don't know. I like to eat breakfast, but I have to have my coffee most of the time. I, I like to have that warm drink in the morning. It doesn't have to be coffee, but you know, so sometimes it's hot tea. But um, yeah. I grew up having breakfast in the morning, so I'm, I'm not one of those people that can skip breakfast. My nose actually picks up cinnamon, I think, a lot. I'm picking up the cinnamon drizzle. It's more like cinnamon covering. 
And this is not, not quite the soft cinnamon, but it's not the real strong cinnamon either. It's kind of like an in-between. I don't pick up pumpkin. I'd still eat the pastry. It smells good enough to eat, but I was expecting something different, I think. You know, you hear pumpkin and the blackberry, was it? Black raspberry and cinnamon drizzle. You know, my mind thinks of a certain scent. And I'm not quite getting it here. I'm picking up more of that cinnamon. Still worth trying. All right, Cloudberry Dreams. Sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose. That's scary. Soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. Hmm. The rose scares me. And I'm not a peach person. I love fresh peaches, but I don't like other peach things like canned peaches. No. No, 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 no. If I'm gonna have peach, I want a fresh one. I don't like peach flavored drinks. I don't like canned peaches. I usually don't like uh, peach scented wax. Um, so hopefully the rose and the peach are pretty low key in here. Let's check it out. Cloudberry Dreams. I smell peach. So if you like peach, yeah, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Again, if, if you like peach, I definitely pick it up. No, not my cup of tea. And I pick up the rose too. I'm definitely picking up rose and I'm definitely picking up peach. Two scents that don't work for me combination does not work for me. Mm -mm. Nope. I doubt I'll pick this one up. I, I doubt very seriously I'll pick that one up. Mm -mm. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Dancing sugar plums. <clears throat> Rich spice plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. I get the impression I'm gonna be smelling cinnamon. Let's see, dancing plums. Oh, dancing sugar plums, sorry. <clears throat> Ooh. Wow. I'm trying to warm it a little bit more with my finger. I like that. I like that. I um what was it that we got last year in the in the fall that brick um sugar plum oh, Let me see. I think I might have the open brick right here. Yep. Sugar plum berry. And this one's dancing sugar plum, so I can see how close they are. Deeper. This one had that um, hint of pine in it, or spruce, or you know, tree scent. It's it's really good, but it had that tree scent, which can turn some people off. Um, this one has a richer smell, almost like it would be, um, well, they put the cinnamon on it, so that being spice. I'm thinking almost like it would be in, almost like it would be in the bakery cat uh, category, just doesn't have any bread, pastry, or whatever to go with it. So, hmm, let me see, almond croissant. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, actually, not bad at all. Let me try apple and oats. Because the dancing sugar plums has cinnamon apple. So let's try. Let me kind of warm them both up with my fingers. Ah, I'm getting wax on my fingers now. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. It's like I can't get the scent well enough from both of them to... Yeah, I don't think I'd like that combination. But the almond croissant, that one might work. I'll definitely be trying that one when I'm gonna order both of these when they come out. And I'm definitely gonna mix those to see how I like that mixed. And that would give it more of that bakery scent. I like the dancing sugar plums, that's nice. It has a very rich, plum scent without being, without being like in your face. Um, sometimes some of those scents, you know, you want to like them, but it just, something in there just, just smacks you in the face and you think, whoa, no, that, that's just, no. This seems really rich, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem to have that hit you in the face kind of scent. All right, next, just fur you, like Douglas fur kind of thing. <clears throat> While blackberry offers its one-of-a-kind sweetness to a forest of fur balsam and pine needles. Okay, let's give that one a try. I tend to think that's going to be very tree-scented, which for the season could be just what you want. I guess I have to rub this one on that. Okay, now I'm smelling it. Definitely smelling the fir balsam and the pine needles. Definitely good for the holiday season. It's nice. It doesn't have, it's not super strong kind of tree scent sometimes they um kind of like that hit you in the face kind of scent sometimes it's just too powerful at least in this little sample not bad not bad at all worth trying worth trying then we have slay all day like i'm gonna slay all day um, Snow-kissed mint and juniper keep their cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air. Hmm. Okay. Should be fresh. Hmm. I'm not picking up the mint. Oh, yeah. Now I am after I rubbed it. Hmm. I think I, I'm thinking I like that Mad About Mint and the other one more. It's hard to tell. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna rub together Slay All Day and Just For You. They both have that, um, one's got the fir balsam and pine needles, and then this one has the juniper and mountain air. Not tree, mountain air, but. Hmm. Look funny, huh? At least in these little testers, neither one of them smells strong enough to think, ooh. You can't put those two together because it's too much. Well, no, not really. It might work. That'll be another one I'll test out. See if I like the combination. And then last but not least, the, con the one I'm assuming is going to be the controversial scent. 
around the campfire. Make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. I tend to think I'm gonna like it. I like woodsy scents. I like spice, I like wood, I like the manly scents. Um, I liked all the scents that were in the Father's Day collection, including chillin' and grillin', uh, which I think probably did not go over too well with probably most people if you watch their videos. Um, but I like it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really strong at the beginning. Um, it was definitely one that you, one cube, that's all you needed, one cube. Um, and it was super strong at the beginning and then after about two or three hours, it's not like it went away, it just softened. And so instead of that real like smoky scent that it would have, you got the, like that applewood chip smell but in a softer version, almost like there was a sweetness behind it. I, I actually enjoyed it. So let's see, around the campfire. Definitely picking up the smoky embers. Oh, I like it. Oh my goodness, that's good. I think it's the, the embers and the fresh fallen wood. Wow. Oh, I'm imagining you're sitting outside and either you have like a little outdoor fireplace or the big fire pit and you've gone and you've collected your um, firewood and then you're sitting around and so you've got the pile of the firewood close by because you want to keep putting it in and you're also got so you got the smell from that and then you also have the embers, the, you know, the smell of the actual burning, kind of. Not that it smells like anything burning, kind of. Wow. I would, um, you know, if you think, okay, chilling and grilling, why is that a manly scent? Because you tend to think manly scent, you think um, colognes, like a, man, a man's cologne, and there was nothing man's cologne about chilling and grilling. Manly, I guess, because of that outdoorsy kind of smell. This smells amazing. I really like that. I think I like, well, I know, Cole Smith. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. Probably followed by Almond Croissant. I thought Almond Croissant was really, really good. Um, and then probably dancing sugar plums. The close apple and oats. The, the tree scents are usually oh, the farther end for me. And the mint ones were pretty good. Again, I kind of like some of the other mint scents that we've had maybe a little more, at least on coal sniff. Um, Cloudberry Dreams, I really thought Cloudberry Dreams was gonna be the name sounded, you know, oh, Cloudberry Dreams. But the minute I read Rose and Peach, I thought, uh oh, don't know if I'm gonna like that. And yeah, I didn't. But this, I wanna keep smelling this. Mountain air, I don't know about mountain air. I think it's just that outdoor smell, you know, of, of the wood and the, the embers. Yeah, yeah, I can already tell. If it smells as good as the little tester smells, that would definitely be going in my club. And I really wanna get um, a warmer for outdoors. Um, I don't know which one yet, but a, a picture sitting outside, you know, your, your patio table and you're sitting around in the evening and you're enjoying 
tea or whatever you're having and you maybe you had a little barbecue and you're sitting around and then this it, it, um, in the warmer on your patio table with the, I mean oh, I liked it I liked it a lot well did you get a chance to smell any of them yet do you have um, do you have your own set of testers? Do you have a consultant nearby that you know that you're able to get with and sniff? Um, or are you gonna have to wait till the collection comes out starting August 1st? Uh, I'd love to know which ones you liked, if you do get the chance to smell them. Um, which one do you think you like if you haven't smelled them? Which one, based on the descriptions, do you think you'll like? Which ones do you think would not be up your alley? Um, please give Around the Campfire at least a sniff. Um, I think it's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the um, new scents for the fall winter catalog of 2020 and the warmer for August and the aloe vera and ivy scent for August, which really good. Um, I hope you come back, join me for another video on another day, and I look forward to hanging out with you again. So enjoy your scents, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.